Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev. Recently, I did review of Royal Clutch RK61 plus mechanical keyboard. It was three different versions. One is linear, one is tactile, and one is some kind of combination between linear and tactile. Today, I want to go big and I want to upgrade all three of this version to something different. One, I want to build a gaming mechanical keyboard, one is typing, and one, I want just to recover existing switches and case into something better. At the end of the video, you will have three different options to choose from. One with absolutely new keycaps and switches for gaming purpose, one for typing with perfect sound, and one just in, a, in the case of budget exercise, how to recover this keyboard without adding any materials. Is it interesting for you? Let's go and build. Okay guys, first thing first, let's transform this keyboard, this gray version with linear pre switches into the real gaming powerhouse. Let's go. And for, the, for this, I will use Akko version 3 Pro switches, cream black pro and they are linear because it's a gaming but with higher operational force plus i will use this gatron because of the additional shine effect of these switches and we will finish with this pbt clear keycaps from xvx channel to like to have a great uh, look and aesthetical view of this gaming mechanical keyboard there we go. All keycaps and all switches removed. Now let's insert new switches. And take into account that this is gaming version of the keyboard. We don't need to do any typing enhancement and modification because our aim is to fast and reliable mechanical keyboard for gaming. So I want to show you what I meant for the special RGB. Come on. Special RGB. Uh, think that you can see this we have RGB enhancer additional piece of plastic which will make it shining through even better than it is so this keyboard is support three or five pins all good and uh, RGB window in on a uh, north side there we go so we have this Gatron baby kangaroo or kangaroo switches inside and black or switches the perimeter of this keyboard let's go and let's install the keycaps clear kill keycaps and then we will be able to see and test this gaming keyboard okay first build is ready this is a gaming version at least how i see it all testing will be at the end of the video you can skip to this part or support my channel and everything to the end thank you time to move on after gaming keyboard let's do the Typing keyboard. This is already not bad version of the typing keyboard with tactile reloop switches, but can we do it better? Let's check this out. So for this I will use this lavender purple blue from Oco, and this is tactile switches, obviously for typing experience. And also I will be using this keycaps from Ipo Maker Botanical Garden. This is gorgeous keycap set and it will enhance the sound of this keyboard even more. So, take into account that this is typing mode, we will need to remove all keycaps, all switches, we need to disassemble case and do modification. Okay, we are done with switches and keycaps, let's go and disassemble the case. So, first of all, let's check what we have inside, and second, let's apply a couple of mods to this. Oh, you know what, it's nice, it's easy to disassemble, you don't need to struggle with different stuff like this so just easy to open nice work roll clutch we have a lot of different connections and let's undo them let's unplug them right one okay this one is tough one here we go okay so first thing first let's just apply a quick type mode to the to the back side of a pcb plate right Okay, there we go. Our type painter type mode is ready. Do not forget to leave these holes for the connectors and we need to do another holes for the pins and screws. Okay, next let's work with this case. So I see this foam, but for the space it's not enough. Let's add a little bit. Actually, I can use 
this form as a template. So I will leave the original form and will add my own form. Okay, now let's assemble back PCB plate. Okay, now it's much better case than it was before. Let's quickly check that it's still working. Uh, it seems it is. Now let's check the stabilizers. So I propose we will do two things. One, we will add this stuff. And second, we will add eight band underneath of stabilizers. Should be something like that. Let's, uh, let's repeat for all stabilizers. Okay, let's put some lavender on top of this PCB plate. What is good for the 60% keyboard that you need less amount of switches to fill them out. Okay, let's continue. So we have lavender as a switches. Let's apply garden, botanical garden as a keycaps. And we'll have a lot of different, you know, flowers. Okay, one more setup is done. Looks amazing, sounds amazing. All tests and the end of the video. Let's switch to the next one. And finally, budget version of the modding, because we will use the same keycaps and the same switches, but we will do full mod of this keyboard to find it out if we can recover this questionable sound into something meaningful or not. Let's go. Okay, now let's do the final round, the most time consuming. I will spend next couple of hours modding this keyboard, but this is obviously required to uh, to repair the sound. Sound is not great. If you are new to mechanical keyboard world, you will say that it's fine. But if you are more experienced person, you will recognize immediately this harsh sounds because um, because switches are not pre-looped and case of the keyboard is empty and all of that. So I'm going to fix all these points and you will hear the difference at the end. So I'm going to spend a lot of time. So if you want to support me, just spend next couple of minutes watching my video. Let's go. And here we go, after a couple of hours of like really tedious job, I've done all modings, what I know, almost all modings, what I know, to this keyboard. And next stage, let's go and test all of them. All these three keyboards are totally different, absolutely different. So let's go one by one. First, we built gaming mechanical keyboard. Obviously, I can play some games, but it will not show you anything. So, better I will switch the light and show you the RGB. Main idea of this keyboard, not the sound, but gaming linear switches and RGB. So, check this out. Yeah. 
looks awesome. And obviously we can use this keyboard as a gaming keyboard. Next one we built specially for typing enthusiasts. So it's tactile, it's clucky, clucky clicky, big legends. You can see very clearly everything on this keyboard. So how it sounds. Sounds and look amazing, right? I like it a lot. This green style is super cool. And also you even can see some RGB. And finally, guys, the biggest surprise of this video, at least for me, this blue, <coughs> blue version of this keyboard with special linear switches from Royal Clutch. We did everything with this keyboard. Like I add lubricant inside each switch. I made an adjustment to the case, to the PCP, to everything, and hear the sound. So, what do you think, guys? I really satisfied with what I have done with this keyboard. It's now it sounds silent, quiet, as it's in marketing description of this keyboard. Now these switches make sense, and now this keyboard is the most quiet from all three options of this keyboard, Royal Clutch RK61 Plus. And basically now it's all makes sense. Do you want to play games with funny RGB? There we go. Let me switch it on. Do you want to enjoy typing with a huge symbols on the keycaps? Here we go. Do you want silent typing or gaming or everything at once? This is the most versatile version of this keyboard after this modification, what I have done. Okay, guys, that's all. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy the process. I hope you know what you need right now if you're looking for the 60% mechanical keyboard for gaming, typing or whatever else altogether needs what you have. I, in case if you like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and see you around in the next one. Bye.